ballot for November's general election in dozens of races, but the race for Florida's 15th congressional seat is drawing a lot of attention. Florida's influence on Capitol Hill is expanding, with the state picking up a congressional seat due to population growth. Congressional 15 is the new seat for Florida. We gained one seat in Congress as a consequence of our population growth last decade. So this is a brand new district that basically was carved out of a lot of other previous districts. Created during the once in a decade redistricting process, Florida's 15th congressional district covers Northeast Hillsboro, Southeast Pasco, and a small portion of Polk County. This has a national impact because it's regarded as one of the most competitive races in the state and most importantly, it's along the I-4 corridor, which is still the most important part of Florida. The congressional seat with no incumbent has attracted five Republican and five Democratic primary challengers. Clear examples of what the two parties stand for. All you have to do is look at the candidates in these primaries. The Republicans are on one side and the Democrats on the other on just about every issue. For Republican candidates, many of their platforms are focused on border security and inflation. That needs to improve because it's, everything is getting out of hand cost-wise. And we're in business too, and so we notice it big time, you know, and it's not fair. To the American people. Democratic candidates want to tackle taxes and improving Florida schools. I think we just need to be consistent. Uh, Education is important, I think. There's, there's several issues that I'm not sure if it necessarily needs to be changed, but just want to do my civic duty. In Lakeland, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.